Hello there guys, and welcome back to the introduction to Inkscape course. This is getting familiar with Inkscape. In this lesson, we're actually going to poke around Inkscape a bit, check out some of these tools, some of these menus, that sort of thing. But before we actually begin, I do want to check something. I want to make sure we're running the same version of Inkscape. So to find this out, what we're going to do is go up to the top menu here, click Help, and then click About Inkscape. And you'll see on the top right corner, you see the Inkscape version number. And the most recent one, which is the one I'm running, is 0.48.4. If you don't have this version, you can go to Inkscape.org and download the most recent version, for free, of course. So, now they're on the same page here, we can close out of this. So, when you open Inkscape for the first time, this is what you should see. There's not any extra menus or anything like that. It's pretty bare bone out of the box. So what we're going to do is just explore some of the standalone options that we've been given here. So to start, let's go over these tools because these will be the most important and most used tools. Now, a couple things I want to show you with these is how they interact with the rest of Inkscape when you use them. For example, if I click the nodes tool, you'll see that the top menu here changes and we get a whole slew of different options. And this goes for every one. And these are all extremely useful because this is how you'd manipulate the options of your tools. This makes these tools extremely flexible. Also, one more thing I want to touch on is when you click on a tool, if you notice on the bottom of your screen right here, it tells you exactly how to use the tool and what it's used for. This can be very useful if you're just starting out and you want to know how to use the tools right out of the box here. So that's great. All right, of course, we'll go through these tools later on in the lesson and exactly what they do. But for now, we're just going to keep moving on here. All right, now I want to check this useful color bar down here. Now, if you grab this scroll bar and you keep going, you'll see that it has a ton of colors. And this will be very useful down the road. So we'll just remember where this is at. All right, so. Now we're going to go over to these toolbars on the right side. Now what these are actually are a combination of the most used options that you'll find up here in File, Edit, View, etc. So you'll see we have a couple useful buttons here such as Create a Document, Open a Document, or Save Your Document. And if you keep going down we'll have some Undo's, Redo buttons, Copy, Cut, Paste, and then we have some View buttons such as Zoom In, uh, Fit Window to Frame, Look at that. Look how nice that is. And so on. Of course, we'll get into these more later. In the second toolbar over here, it's called the Snap Toolbar. And this offers a lot of options for aligning and snapping for objects and paths. So we'll definitely be getting into that later. And of course, on the top left here, we have our standard menu, such as File, Edit, View, etc. And this holds every option available in Inkscape. So, of course, we'll touch on all of these later. So, now you should have a pretty basic understanding on how to maneuver around Inkscape and the certain things that change when we select tools. Now, there are a few things missing from Inkscape when you first start it up, such as a few very useful menus and toolbars. And that's what we're going to do in the next lesson, setting up your document. So, we'll see you over there, and we'll get your document set up for some efficient drawing. 